YouTube, let's get, get, get it. Back with another vid, YouTube. It's your boy, Big Gap. Today I'm out here in this little small in front of the school. Sometimes at schools, man, you don't have the best reception when you close to it. But we're gonna get out here and try it, man. I got a 6S, I put, put 6S in there. Just wanna get a quick speed run. We got a pretty little nice stretch. Um, nice little i want to get a nice little speed one and see what she can do it's on a slight incline i'm going that way it's a slight little incline but i don't think it's be it'll hold it back that much so we're going to start this gps took a while for the gps to find signal that's what kind of made me skeptical about the reception uh over here took the gps a minute to find find with you know find some satellites or whatever but uh, we're gonna try it out, man. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it down one time, pretty slow, just to check it. And then I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna uh, come back down this, come back down this way, and then run it up that way. So let's just cruise it down a little bit, and make sure the reception stay good. That's more than that's more than enough stretch right there to at least get it up to a kind of nice speed. My trim is a little off. Trim is a little off. Look like it was pulling to the left. So we're gonna go right about two more clicks. All right, fellas. Wish me luck. Let's try it and get down this way a little bit so I can, you can fly by me. I'm gonna try it out, man. Let's see what she hitting for. All right, I think that's about good. Full throttle. Nope. Something happened. Yeah, he going crazy. Something happened. See, that's why I don't like to come to schools. That right there is why I don't like to come to schools. Dang, man. When they be close in front of it like this. When you away from it a little bit, it's not that bad. Look at him, he going crazy. Steering is going crazy on him. Oh man, walk a shame. Hope I didn't tear nothing up. I can see something on the ground. So I did hit pretty hard. I see something black on the ground that I didn't see before, so I think that's one of my my fins. Dang, man. Yep, that's one of my fins. Stripped them out of there. Stripped the screws out. My servo came apart. That's what that was. And there go the GPS. <clears throat> my servo came off. It ripped, ripped it, ripped the, ripped the hole. Through my body wow let's see what the gps read 70 bro 70 miles per hour at least i got it to where i wanted it to be got it to where i wanted it to be 70 i hope y'all can see that 70 that's the fastest i want to go so i ain't up gearing i ain't doing none of that i ain't gearing up i ain't doing none of that i'm leaving her leaving her like she is it's 70 miles per hour and i think i could have got about 72 out of her uh, if I was at the other spot Which now I wish I wish I was at it because now I didn't tow the doggone thing off already All right, so it was just the servo came out so Still working everything seemed to be fine Everything seemed to be fine this is My servo horn my servo horn came and loose the screw that was in it came out And it's crazy because I just took my tools out just took my tools out so in actuality i didn't lose signal i didn't lose signal that servo horn came off that's why i couldn't turn and you know when you lose signal it is it's smart not to press the throttle because if you press the throttle um once it once you get back in range of the car if you held the throttle for too long the car actually when it reacts it actually takes off a little bit so i'm glad i didn't keep hitting the throttle uh, well, I didn't hit the I didn't keep hitting the throttle. So I actually stayed in range. It was just the servo horn came loose So 
fucking proud of that, man. As y'all can see, we hit the 70. We hit the 70 mark. We hit the 70 mark. Motor is not, not hot at all. Well, it was only one speed pass, so it shouldn't have been hot. So. But it was not even warm. So that's perfect for me, fellas. That's perfect. 70 miles per hour. <laughs> Make sure y'all can see that really, really good. 70. We did it, fellas. <laughs> I'm, I'm so happy, man. Y'all just don't know. Cause that's all I wanted to do with my limitless, man. That's all I wanted to do. I've been saying that. 65, 70. If I can hit 65, 70, that's good enough for me with the limitless. So that's it, man. That was a 6S uh, speed run. It was only one. Uh, like I said, I think if I would have been coming this way, I might. I know I could have got at least two more miles per hour. But at the end down there, it's just a brick. It's just sidewalk going across. So I didn't. And it's hard to see. So I didn't want to get too far down that way and run into something. But uh, I end up running into something anyway. So you see that? It almost it, this right here basically ripped all the way through, and it ripped out of the screw. So it probably, it probably uh, ripped the. Uh, the threads so i'm gonna have to look on there and see is it a way that i can get another one of these or may even just drill another hole through next to it and put like a maybe a small nut or something up under there to hold it but as y'all know i don't like to tear my stuff up i don't uh, i don't mind fixing it but i'm not real good at fixing it and I'd rather drive than be fixing on it. You feel what I'm saying? So a lot of times when I break cars, if it's not, if it's not, if it's if it's something simple and I have the parts at home, I'll fix it. But when it's when it's a good little bit to do, sometimes they be down for a little while before I get them back up to to run again because you know not really a big fan of fixing on them yet. Which sometimes it's fun. I ain't gonna tell that lie because sometimes it's fun. Like when you're doing a build, you're doing a you know a roller build. It's pretty cool, man. It's pretty fun. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, like I said, I still like driving it more than I like fixing on it. You know what I'm saying? Some people enjoy fixing on them just as much as they enjoy driving. But that's just not me. You know what I'm saying? It's just not me. But all right, fellas. Now she goes looking pretty. Didn't tore her up already. But it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm going to try to see if I can figure out any ways to get that back on there maybe if i put some loctite on it or something uh you know i put some glue on the screw some uh rubber glue on the screw and it maybe it'll stay down but it's crazy because i just took my tools out of the car from yesterday i had my tools in the car yesterday and last night when i was getting in i took it all took everything off you have to excuse my car it's a little junky but uh that's it man we hit 70 miles per hour fellas so don't forget to like comment subscribe dislike whatever you like youtube and i'm in it my tire rubbed that curb too it's okay though in a minute